just work children. Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new, my name is Joanna Wilson. And my washing machine's on in the background, so I'm not sure what the audio is going to be like on this. Let me actually check. Okay, so it did turn out that the washing machine was too loud, but now it's not, so that's good. And if it does become too loud again, then I will be stopping and restarting. And um, it is Tuesday the 31st of May, which is actually the day that this video is going to be out. And it marks one month of daily vlogs on this channel, which is so super cool. I'm not woken up <laughs> in the bestest place ever this morning. I was really ill through the night. I had to get up and be really sick, which was not nice and sort of yesterday afternoon evening i felt coming on that i was feeling really run down and i'm still feeling quite like that this morning i've not been sick since i was um sick in the night but i'm still feeling pretty rubbish i had to cancel quite a lot of my tutoring this morning um and sleep for an extra bit of about bed till 11 and i need to get out of bed at about six half six <laughs> i slept an extra five hours than i normally would have done and i do think that this whole situation relates really well to a topic i wanted to talk about anyway and basically is that I'm <laughs> for the last month i pretty much have been running myself into the ground from a work travel um life socializing perspective i just wanted to talk a little bit about it to be honest and a little bit about where my head's been and what things are going to be sort of changing moving forward i do have a tendency to do this quite a lot i will sort of go 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 until i physically can't go anymore and um, i feel like the whole of may it's been like one of the best months of my life even but it's also been one of the most exhausting because <laughs> i've been doing so much in so many different areas of my life it's the busiest time of the year from an exam perspective so my two tutoring and everything just work is really really busy i've taken on two new clients in management which again is so exciting and i'm so so passionate about uh, working with them moving forward i'm working with luke sutton but as well as that i've been out of the country i'm just looking now like at the month of may you can probably go through it a little bit but i've been out of the country for half of may as well so i've been in lots of travel and lots of socializing at the same time as doing lots and lots of work as well and my body does tend to do this me getting poorly is a warning sign from my body that says Johnny, you need to slow down a bit you need to have a rest and reevaluate and assess everything that you're doing whether it's sustainable and what you want to do moving forward so thinking about that I I thought it'd be nice to talk through May and reminisce on how awesome it was. And I'm sure Owen can actually put some cool um, little flashbacks and clips in um, from the different things that we did in May. And then talk about uh, moving forward because I don't want the video to be doom and gloom. I want it to be fun and happy and just sort of insightful for everyone as well that might do similar things to that I do and just run themselves into the ground <laughs> until their body goes, nope, you will rest today. And then we can reevaluate and go again. So at the start of the month, very first of May was... Um, when we went on the Otley run for Stoney's birthday and we all dressed up as um, Stoney, which was so fun and we had such a great time. Um, and that was because it was a bank holiday Sunday. <laughs> And then that week was a big effort, actually, because we were getting everything ready for Niall going away, which I can't say any more about that. But then we were also, I was going away on Friday from one of my best friends, Hindus. <laughs> Turned a seven day week for me. I'm usually working most days into a three day week. I had to do everything that I would have done across seven days and three days. Um, so they were a busy, really busy Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then on Friday, went to Liverpool, Corey's Hindu, which was beautiful. And we had such a fun time. And it still blows my mind that one of my best friends is getting married but yeah that's that so that was sunday <laughs> And then we had a day at home on Monday before we flew to Croatia on Tuesday. Again, it was a super busy day. And then Croatia was lovely. It was a work trip with Sammy and Ash. And then it, we did some fun stuff within there as well, but it was mainly a work trip. And it was beautiful. And I'm sure that we can put some highlights in from the Croatia trip now. We are dead. <laughs> so we were in Croatia for a week. 
we got back on Tuesday and straight away we got back at Tuesday lunchtime. We came home, we got sorted. I did two hours of tutoring and then we went straight out to the theatre with my mum um, and some of her friends. And that was, again, amazing. But me and Sammy were sat in the theatre by the end of it like, oh my God. And then we had a couple of days, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday night was um, Ashley's brother's wedding, which was beautiful. And then we had a family barbecue on the Friday. And then straight away on Saturday, I was going to Italy for five nights with my mum and dad. So come home, being go, 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 work and fun stuff. And then straight back away to Italy. Um, and I'm sure we can add some Italy. I'm getting louder and louder and louder because the washing machine's getting louder. But until the washing machine gets a little bit quieter, I think, Owen, oh, let's put some Italy highlights in here. The bronze door, it's original and the lock still works. We've got a door, we've got a lock on our front door that doesn't work after three years. The key snapped in it. So that was Italy and then since Italy got home on Thursday night I had a bit of a nightmare with the airport and the aeroplane and then Ash was coming to pick us up and he had a bit of a nightmare with the traffic too. So we didn't get home until about at least after midnight. Just after midnight is when we got home. On Thursday and on Friday we were doing filming and, and then we had a couple of social nights on Friday and Saturday night. Chilled day on Sunday. It brings me to Monday, which was the first day I was like, right and breathe chill out we've done everything now um, and we've got a week just at home it obviously is jubilee weekend and there's fun stuff going on throughout the whole of the jubilee weekend but it was just a bit of a chance for me to have a breather and chill and then as i said my body's gone no <laughs> you need to rest now because you're allowed to rest now um but yeah it's fine and i'm fine and i'm gonna spend a completely chill day at home and have some really good sleep tonight make sure i'm like nutritioning myself that's probably not the best way to say that. I'm fueling my body with the food that it needs for the rest of the week and just enjoying, enjoying myself and enjoying where I'm at, but also reflecting. Thinking about moving forward, obviously it still is exam time. I'm still um, tutoring a lot and I'm still doing bits and bobs. One thing that's been really on my mind is that I want to be able to sort of bring my best self to all the situations that I'm in in my life, both inside of work and outside of work. And I think it's really important that I'm not ending up in a position where I'm, I'm spreading myself so thin that nothing's great, um, if that makes sense. So I've been in times in my life before where I've been like this, that you're almost, you're doing lots of things you got your fingers in lots of money pies you're spinning lots of plates and you end up not doing any of them very well because you're constantly bouncing between them now i am someone my capacity to be able to work is i would say above average and i love to work like i am literally obsessed addicted to working and i love it but i have been reflecting a lot of uh, may and i've decided that moving forward into the next academic year i'm going to basically change how i do things with just work and um, i've not decided exactly what that looks like yet um, and this is actually the perfect time for me to be thinking about this because I do have the summer holidays to really think what is this going to look like in the next academic year um, how can I make it that um, I'm in a position where I'm healthy and happy and everything that I'm doing work wise and it's going to give me a bit of breathing space over summer to think about that and exactly what I want that to look like and also a bit of breathing space to rest to relax to bring my best self to the different areas of my life and my work I want to be a brilliant daughter a brilliant friend a brilliant girlfriend that still feels weird to say um but I think there's just some reevaluating and reassessing to do so that that sort of navigates in the direction that I wanted to navigate in is basically what I'm saying. Looking into June though, June is my birthday month. We've got so much exciting stuff coming in June as well. I am actually, <laughs> so going back on holiday um, next week with Sammy and Sammy's family. So that's like my last trip for a little bit now. And I've been back to back to back to back. So I'm going to Turkey for four nights next week. We're going to Capital Summertime Ball on Sunday, which is going to be so cool. Um, and then we're into my birthday week and we've got lots of different fun stuff planned for that, um, which will be on camera but also quite a lot will not be on camera um i do just want to take some time and really enjoy my birthday with my loved ones as well um 
I think that's it really for everything that I wanted to say on this video. I am happy with where I'm at. I've got no regrets for me. I had a flipping fantastic month um, and I'm really, really excited about Jean. I'm really, really excited about keeping on with daily vlogging. I'm so much so I'm actually considering forever keeping on with daily vlogging. So I'll have to think about what that might look like moving forward from June. But my body's gone. Joanna, chill out a bit. I need a bit of a rest, babe. And I need to listen to it. So yeah, that's me. That's today's video. And I hope everyone really, really enjoyed it. I love you all so much. The growth on this channel makes me smile every single day. And, and the support and the love. And I do read all the comments. And I do see what everyone's saying. And the love everyone's giving me. And... I honestly appreciate it so, so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for all those that have subscribed, for all those that have bought products during May. You honestly keep me going massively and I appreciate you so much. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. Keep smashing it and remember anything is possible. You just fuck. Bye. Maybe it needs to be just West today. If you just West. <laughs> Bye.